Park illegally in a disabled space, learn a very expensive lesson. I have a disabled parking placard, and a few weeks ago I went to Target to buy things I didn't need and forget the things I did. Not only were all the spaces taken, someone parked their gigantic Escalade on the line between two disabled spaces, taking up both. Wholly irritated because this happened so much, I walked around the car no placard or disabled plate. Cue the fury of a someone who has to deal with this stuff all the time, and cue petty revenge. I took a pick and went inside to find a manager. When I found one, I showed her the photo and she rolled her eyes and sighed. Apparently this happens a lot at their location, because it's near an affluent town with a lot of very wealthy, very entitled people, and most often it's the owners of huge SUVs and F-150s that park like jerks. She said she'd call the cops, so I decided to go back outside and hang out by the doors to watch the show. The manager joined me and we chatted while we waited for the police. The cops arrived and walked around the car, peering through the windows and running the plate. One cop took out a little book and started writing in it. They took some photos and one came over and asked if they'd make an announcement in the store to get the driver outside. The manager radioed someone inside and asked them to announce the make and model and plate of the car over the PA system. A few minutes later, she came charging out of the store. Middle-aged, well-dressed woman, the common Karen of North America, and already yelling at the police. As soon as she got to her car one of the cops held up his hand to shut her up and started lecturing her. I was too far away to hear, but she stopped yelling at least. That cop spoke to her for a few minutes, and then the other cop with the little book handed her, but two papers. She looked absolutely apoplectic. The cops came back over and spoke to the manager, telling her they ordered her to move her car and if she didn't or caused problems in the store to call them back and they'd tow the car. They told us they gave her two tickets, for each space at $500 each. Ouch. The manager thanked the police and me and went back inside. The woman stomped around a bit before getting in her car and peeling out. The cops looked at each other, then got in their cars and followed her. Pretty sure she continued to have the day she deserved. Meanwhile, I happily treated myself to some Legos for performing a public service. D. X200B. Edit thank you for the awards and the response it's so nice to hear from the disabled community and our caretakers. Your stories have touched me so much, and I'm glad my story made you feel a little vindicated. It felt really good to watch someone get actual consequences for their bad behavior something seemingly rare these days. Maybe not as petty as this sub usually sees, but definitely revenge. As the daughter to a disabled father who needs a van space to get out in his wheelchair, thank you. Legos were the perfect way to treat yourself. Good for you I once parked in a disabled space in a deserted service station. A disabled person showed up. I never felt so tiny in my life. People who park in disabled spots are scum. I was unsuccessful in trying to get a grocery store to care when a lady parked in the space between the disabled spots that area that's got the lines indicating it's not for parking, it's to give space for wheelchairs or other such things. I also stood there glaring at her for several minutes. I would have stayed longer, but it was snowing and getting worse I was concerned I wouldn't make it home if I didn't get going. I've been lucky and have never needed a placard, but you better believe I judge people like the absolute Karen in Arp's story. So awesome. Did you get popcorn before or afterwards? As someone who needs the wider spaces to open the car door fully or my hip locks painfully whilst trying to get out of the car, thank you so much. People who park in disabled parking bays without a valid badge really tick me off. Awesome peeling out got her an exhibition of speed and pulled her license I bet. Nice to see someone get caught. OP parked. Between two disabled spaces. Me please go where I think this is going. Please 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 please. OP they gave her two tickets. Me yes ahahaha suck it, Karen. We live in an apartment complex. I was raised WA disabled brother, and my mill uses a placard. Whenever some entitled idiot takes a spot, 
We call the cops and take great pleasure in watching them come out to their cars to a $200 plus ticket that has to be paid in 30 days or it's jail. My dad is in a chair full time and the amount of times that this happens is wild. Also important to know if the person whose placard it is gets dropped off at the door. You can't use the placard. They have already been dropped off. Park in a standard space. I drove a van with a handicap license plate for 16 years, and never parked in a handicap spot unless I was with my wife who needed space for the ramp. At one time a police car parked on the striped zone right next to our van, so I took a picture and sent it to the local newspaper. Plenty of regular spots were available, but you're a cop and you need your Starbucks fix, I guess. I was sitting outside a cafe once. A car came and parked in the handicapped spot. They didn't have a placard. The passenger got out, and I said it's illegal to park there without a placard. The driver got out and started berating me because he had two prosthetic legs asking if he didn't qualify. All I said was, you're mad at me because I tried to protect your rights. I couldn't see your legs before you stomped up to me. Fun fact. I work at an organization that supports people with disabilities. We had an event today and parked close to our doors to load vehicles with supplies and stuff. Not one person parked in the accessibility spots. We have multiple. On Saturday, the office is closed. And yet, no one used them. It was reassuring to see. Very proud of OP for this story. In Massachusetts it's $500 fine automatic loss of license for no placard. This pisses me off so bad. My husband's mother was an amputee due to diabetes and in a wheelchair. We took her out one Saturday night to a popular restaurant. It was cold and a bad winter with many of the parking spots filled with snow. Hence the entitled ones took the handicapped spots rather than walk far in the cold. We struggled to push her wheelchair between the cars and lift her and her wheelchair over the curb. I went into the restaurant ready to lose my shit, but she was embarrassed and wouldn't let me make a scene. To this day, I hope and pray karma took over. Peeled out? You mean exhibition of speed? That's a ticket and in some places, a trip to jailhouse. Thank you. The amount of times I'd been robbed of a disabled spot that is intended for people like you, and me because an entitled asshole decided that was their personal parking spot infuriates me. Last time it was some sort of flashy sports car with the types of doors that lift up to open. No handicap placard anywhere and I couldn't imagine how a disabled person could contort themselves into that thing even if it did, belong to a disabled individual seat so damn low, narrow entrance, etc. Fuck. Yes. There's a special place in hell for people who park illegally in handicap spots. I salute you, internet person. Lego always helps. Always. It's the best way to treat oneself. Tough to remove stickers applied on the front windshield also help. I learned this one from my old boss. People like this piss me off. I have a placard in my car, but it's because of my grandma. If she's not with me, I park in a normal spot. A little walking ain't gonna kill me, and it ain't gonna kill you either, Karen. Back in the 80s when I was a kid my disabled dad had a bunch of bright orange stickers made up that said I parked in a disabled spot. This was on the recommendation of the local police. Anytime him and mom went out if there was someone parked in a disabled spot with no placard or plate they'd slap one in their bumper sticker, or license plate if they had done it before. They gave her two tickets for each space I literally laughed out loud at that. So awesome. I believe when someone parks in a spot for handicapped people, that person 100 has some disability, albeit in some cases idiocy just hasn't been diagnosed yet. I live in an entitled city in SFL. This happens everywhere here. And it is usually Range Rovers, Denali SUV, and large sedan high ends. We prefer to park farther away in the lots to avoid accidental damage to one's doors and QTR panels by the retiree population whose motor skills have obviously deteriorated to below average levels yet, refuse to give up their lick, and prefer to continue to endanger others.